So here we are in our Google Drive and I have three files that have multiple choice questions in them. The first one is a image file and it has uh, two questions. The next file is a PDF document that again has a number of multiple choice questions with some images. And then the last one is a Microsoft's uh, PowerPoint file. So that one uh, opens up and we have again kind of one one question per page is kind of hanging out in this uh, Microsoft PowerPoint. So those are the three files and I'd like to take those uh, questions and put them into a Google form. To do that we're going to show you how to use an add-on called Form Builder Plus. If you don't have that add-on you can just click on that uh, right toolbar, click the Get Add-ons button, look for that Form Builder Plus in the marketplace and you can add that. So we'll start with the uh, image file first so we can start the application and then uh, it picks up the image file that we had selected we're going to analyze it it's going to convert that image to a google doc and so we see that google doc show up there if we look at that google doc real quick the way it so it keeps the image there and then it puts the image to text and so this is what we're hoping to have come across to Google Forms. So then what we're going to do is now analyze it and we can preview what that looks like. So it's analyze that when I preview what Form Builder Plus found. So it picked up, let's see what it picked up. So it picked up this image that it doesn't, that's an, uh, right now it's just an image file. So that wasn't super useful, but what it did take was that uh, the text that it converted from the image. Now that text is showing up as questions. And that's exactly what I was kind of hoping would happen with this image file. So what I'm going to do is get rid of this image. We don't need that image. And we have our two multiple choice questions. Uh, we can go ahead and confirm that. We can select the answers if we want. I think which process. So I think the first answer was, and then we can pick an answer here. Hopefully those are right. Uh, and then what we can do is confirm those changes. And then now we can import those questions to a Google form. To do that, we'll create a Google form. And then we'll go ahead and uh, import those questions to that form we just made. So it should, those two questions in this image file should show up as questions in this new form. So here's our form. And those two questions show up right away with the answers are already kind of pre-selected I, I chose. And we didn't have to retype those that image question at all. So all the text just got converted over. So that's one option if you have images. Another thing you can do is go ahead and we'll start again. We had that PDF document. So again, this is not a Google Doc or Google Slide. This is a PDF. And again, it has images in there. We do that same process. We'll go ahead and analyze it. And then, uh, so that's the Google Doc it converted the PDF into. So we can analyze that. We don't have to take a look at it. And we'll do that same preview method. It kind of shows them here, but it's a little bit easier to see it graphically. So we'll preview that document. We can do a little bit of adjusting too if it needs it. So here's the, that, those the PDF documents. So this one, uh, this was a, the text for the first question. The first question had an image with it, and then this is the question that goes with it. So all three of these actually uh, are one thing. So what we can do is we want to merge this way. So now this is our first question. I think this is a duplicate, so we don't need to get that one. Yeah, so we can delete this part. So here's our first question with the text, with an image, and then a selection. Here's our next question. It looks like that one came out really good. 
Then our third question looks really good. Fourth. And then this was a, we can look back in that document too. This last one over here. So this was that first question with the text and then image and then a question. So we put all the text together with the image. The next couple were straightforward, just uh, text questions. And then now we have again text with an image followed by the, the more text in the question. So let's go ahead and take a look at where that is. So let me go back to that preview mode. I think it's active right here. And so here's that question again. And so here's text with the question. And then all we have to do is move this part up. And then that groups the text with that question. And then the last question shows up. So that's those one, two, three, four, five questions from my second document, actually six. And so we like all that. We're going to confirm those changes. Didn't have to type anything. And then let's track down where we are again. So now we have all that. And then we can go ahead and choose a form. We can import them into that same form we were working with a moment ago. So we'd made a quick form. I think it was called test one. It's the one we just had open a second ago. So we'll import them into that same as if all three of these files we want to put in one form. So it's going to import to that same form we did with the image questions. So we'll import here. And so now we should have the first two questions from last time. Actually, I take it back. Yeah, no, these are the first two questions. And then this is from the second PDF document. These questions all come in. And you get images with the questions. And then the last one we'll show is we have a Microsoft's uh, PowerPoint. So then we can do that same process one more time. So again, three sources. We're going to go ahead and, yeah, we're going to start again. And then we'll start. We're looking for it to pick up the slides file. Perfect. We're going to have to analyze that. It's going to convert it again over to a, a, a Google slide. And then what we'll do is we'll analyze that. And then we can do that preview again to see what how it converted this I can make this a little bit bigger for you. And the nice thing about the preview is you can kind of get rid of things. So I don't really need this header. So we're going to just get rid of that. We got a little artifact from the import. So we're going to get rid of that little mark. So here's our first question. That looks good. And then this one, market structure, this was the text, this was the answer. So we need to merge this up. So there's a nice handy tool here. We can merge that one up. Uh, the next one kind of has that same thing where this is the question. These are the answers. We're just going to merge that up. This one got picked up well. And then again, we'll merge that one up one more time. And then we'll do another merge here. This one got picked up nicely. And then we have to do a quick merge there. We'll get rid of that one. Do a merge up one last time. So that's our questions. Uh, the, again, the questions are kind of coming right from our slides. So here's our slides. We can kind of look. If I get this a little smaller, we'll look for that question three here, a market. So if we look. So a market is perfectly competitive win, and this is a choice as A, B, and C. And then it went ahead and picked up those. If you do make it bold, it will pick up that as the answer as well. So uh, again, Google slide that I wanted to convert to a multiple choice, all of those came over nicely. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that. And then the last thing I'll show is we'll go ahead and import that to that same document. We're going to pretend like all of these were supposed to go to that same Google form. So we were importing that form called test one. So we'll pick that test one form we're using. And then we'll import it. And now we'll take one look. And that should, so now our form should have the two image questions, uh, the questions from that PDF document, 
And then the last ones are some of these economic questions. So we could pretend they're all on the same topic. And so all of those documents are now in that one Google form from a bunch of different sources, image, PDF, and Microsoft slides into one Google form using that add-on form builder plus. So give it a try. You can also use it directly if you're in something like Microsoft, I'm sorry, like Google slides, that same add-on is going to show up right here. It's going to work exactly the same. You can click it. It'll have that same interface and do that same conversion. So really any place you have multiple choice questions, if you want to easily add them to a Google form, uh, go ahead and try that form builder plus add-on should work on slides, docs, sheets, you kind of name it. And then anything in your Google Drive as well, images, you know, PDF and Microsoft files. So give that a try. Let me know how that goes.